Guys and gals, I think we have a big story here. This is from the telecompetitor.com. You guys can check the article out on your own if you'd like to read it. VP of Verizon gives details on the fiber broadband roadmap. This is a big thing, and I'm going to explain the details as to what Verizon is probably going to be doing, how they're going to execute it, and what this means for us. All right, so numerous carriers have opted to deploy XGS PON to deliver multi-gig service. All right, Verizon is going in a different direction. All right, so the company actually has just moved over to multi-gig service in New York City, so they announced that, and that's going to be rolling out to more places. The technology that they're using is called NG Pond 2, and uh, it looks like they're going to be going full-out commercial build with this. Uh, we got some details here. This is very, very good. All right, so they they started using the NG Pond or XGS PON, I think, initially. And obviously, there are some technological restrictions there to theoretical throughput as to how much speed and capacity that can achieve. By going with PON2, it gives them much more capacity because of the way the technology works in which you can bond multiple wavelengths to support more speed. So according to the VP, uh, NG PON2 has a 40 gig capacity in comparison to XGS PON's 10 gigabits capacity. So you're essentially going to create a 4x multiplier there as you could take the 10 gigabits per second on a single wavelength and then bond it or combine it for multiple wavelengths, theoretically seeing 40 gigabits per second. All right, so why is this important and why do we care and what does it mean for us? If Verizon was to take a 10 gigabit per second circuit, right, and maybe move towards 20, 30, or 40 with this advanced technology, this newer technology. What they can do is they can use that in their fiber one for their sites, obviously, and they can also lease to other companies. I mean, that is incredible capacity. So for example, if there's a location where they've got a, a co-location with like T-Mobile and T-Mobile wants to upgrade to 10 gig backhaul, they can do that. They can provide it there and then still have enough capacity for themselves. A 40 gig circuit is probably going to be enough for any carrier multiple carriers on a given site even if you put millimeter wave on each of those sectors which typically we see what um three sectors per tower site right you should be fine and they can run that and <laughs> tons and tons of capacity so it looks like that's how verizon is going to be moving and towards the future how they're going to be supporting their 5g millimeter wave services we know they're pushing that hard for their home internet we know it's also a big piece of what they're doing in mobility. And we're going to be seeing this, you know, these upgrades like C-band, the N77, and the millimeter wave, which they're very serious about. And they've already deployed in dozens and dozens of cities for mobile and for home. This appears to be the direction they're going in. All right. So they're going to go big. I think this is for two things. I think it's for their commercial operations, their own tower sites, and then also leasing you know, and selling to other carriers. I really do. And, you know, they can straight up use this fiber for people's homes. They could use it for the millimeter wave. They, there's so many things that they can do. And, and like he's saying here, they're going to start to scale this and they're going to have millions and millions of units allowing them to do these upgrades. And it's going to coexist with their existing fiber footprint. So 25 gig, 50 gig wavelengths, combining all these, you know, bonding them together. I, 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 I like what Verizon is doing here as a vision. I think this is smart. I think this is good. Don't be surprised if we start getting, you know, reports and stories about like AT&T moving in this direction, as well as other providers, you know, Comcast of the world, Charter, whoever's doing fiber, you know, they, they're, they're moving in this direction. The capacity, <laughs> seemingly endless. What do you guys think of this? Do you guys think this is a good play for Verizon? You think uh, this is going to give them an edge? in 5G networking, in the in the home internet space, whether it's fiber to premises or it's through millimeter wave, the C-band situation, all that included. What do you guys think of the story? Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Patreon page. Support us there. Get early access to content and exclusives not found anywhere else. And discounts and promos on Los Mobile, big deal on the Magenta lines coming up. Be on the lookout for that. And my email and Twitter are in the description as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.